Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where the gnomes live. This is Sharon Oyella and this is part three of our acorn house. In this video, we're going to be doing a couple of things like that, the uh, top deck and the um, work around the front door. We're also going to be doing painting. In, in this video, I'm using burnt sienna, honey brown, hunter green, black, burnt umber, cinnamon brown, and some beige. Remember, there are detailed timestamps and links to this project in the pinned comment below. First step I do is give everything a black wash. So the entire house, everything gets covered in the black paint. This paint has been mixed 50-50 with water and this will just help get the paint everywhere, okay? And the reason why I do black wash is because it mutes the colors that go over top. If you wanna have a bright color, then I would do this step with white and then we'll let that dry. Once it was dry, I did the acorn shell itself with honey brown. The first coat I mixed with a little bit of water just because that paper clay is rough and this will help spread that color around. Once that first coat was dry, I did a second coat with just paint only and no water. So the acorn shell got another coat of honey brown. And the acorn caps I painted with burnt sienna and I didn't mix any water with this paint. And this paint that I'm using was actually a uh, thick paint and I only needed, only needed one coat. Next I'm going to use burnt umber. I'm going to paint the stem with the burnt umber and all the trees. The first coat will be burnt umber on the trees. All right, so we'll just spin this around. Now this was before I added the tree to the back access door, of course. But this is what we have so far. And now I'm gonna do the second coat on the trees, which is gonna be cinnamon brown. So all the trees will get a coat of cinnamon brown. Let that dry. Once it's dry, I take a dry brushing of a soft suede or any beige will work. So you just dip your brush in there and get the majority of the paint off. And then you just transfer over a tint of that color, just highlighting all of the protruding parts in the bark. And once that's done, I take black and I'm going to shadow out all of the dips and crevices in the tree. And this will give the tree a lot of depth. And I also outline, of course, around the tree where it touches the acorn shell. So it kind of separates the tree from the shell a bit. But this is looking really nice so far. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to take forest green. I'm going to do all the uh, window frames. And I take black paint. I'm going to separate these two caps here. So you just take black and you'll just go into the cracks and just highlight those cracks. It'll give it a, a bit of depth and give some separation between those two, two caps. In my last video, I explained that I painted the chimney the same colors as my fireplace. So dark gray first, once it was dry, then highlight with the light gray. And it really picks up the rough parts of the stones. And where I had did the separation lines with the paper clay, it showed up the black paint underneath. So I didn't have to do any of the black paint to separate the stones here. So I did hollow the top of the chimney. So there's about two or three inches of depth there. I'm gonna paint the bottom of it black and I'll dry brush that black paint up around the sides of the chimney to make it look like the chimney just is hollow all the way down. I'm gonna do some groundwork in front of the acorn. I'm gonna use this old coal that I found on a beach and this is really soft material. I can actually break it apart very easily. If you wanna use paper stones or paper clay, that will work as well, of course. And uh, in fact, I'll put a link to uh, some paper stones that I've done in the past. And then you could check out that video as well and see if you want to use that material. Anyway, I just put uh, tacky glue all the way around and I'm going to put in some dollar store moss. And now I'm starting a few mushrooms. I'm just going to build, build them out of uh, foil first and then I'll put the clay right over top. And then I'll let those dry overnight under fans. Of course, you can make the mushrooms and fungus and then add them. But I decided just to build them right onto the tree and around the house. I'm using a screwdriver just to get the clay into the places I can't get my fingers into. And these actually turned out a little bit too rough. I'm probably going to cover these up later on after I get further down into the project. But I just wanted a few things there to give me some inspiration for building because this is how I build. I, I need to just kind of, um, I figure things out as I go. <laughs> so I know it's a lot easier to have a plan in place. But anyways, here we are. And for the um, stonework around the front door, I decided to use paper clay again, but this time I'm making tiny little sections and I'm just adding them this way. And I'm trying to do this uh, a bit more smoother looking than that I did on the chimney and the fireplace. So I'm using water as well to kind of smooth that out. And I'm gonna be working out a front uh, or a top deck here. So I'm using cardboard, but I wanna cover it with clay. So I'm going to 
Cover that with foil first so the cardboard doesn't get wet and I'll just put the clay right over top. Once I had the clay over the entire surface on the top, I don't have any underneath, I'm going to work out some lines to make this look like, like uh, timber, like old uh, wooden deck. And once the top was dry, the underside had to be covered as well with something, so I used a napkin and I just uh, did like paper mache work underneath there so to cover that up so it gives me a paintable surface. Once that was dry, I could paint the whole thing black. And so I'm going to be doing uh, black underside and I'll leave that black and then the top side I'll do black and then I'll do all the same uh, colors that I did for the trees. So burnt umber, cinnamon brown, highlighting with beige and shadowing out with black. And now I'm going to be attaching the top deck. You can see I got the stonework done on the bottom floor there and I needed to have that done first. <laughs> it's give me some room to work with before I added this piece. So that's the why I did it in that order. So I'm just going to hot glue that in just to hold it in place while I get these other pieces in. So I'm going to extend my branches from the trees on each side. I'm going to um, use them as stability um, posts for the deck and I'll glue everything together so it's, it's more solid. So I'm hot gluing this in again just to hold it in place. Then I'll put my clay over top of that foil and work the new clay into the old clay and also underneath the deck as well. And here it is all done and it turned out fantastic. It's solid as can be. Like I worked that, that clay into the deck, into the old trees, made sure to have some good overlap there. Now it's like a solid uh, piece. And I brought the tips of the branches, you can see, wrapped them up and over. And I'll be adding uh, railing around after I get the door done. I, I'm not too sure how I'm going to do the door yet, so that's why I'm leaving it until, until I get some more inspiration. <laughs> and here's my stones are all painted, same as the chimney. And the deck got a layer of paper clay, and I did the same thing to that as I did to the top deck. So it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, the windows, I have to install those yet, of course. The bay window is going to get some wood added to it, so it's going to have some, like... Um, pieces put into the plastic there. But we'll probably do that next next video. Next video I'm going to show you how I did the acorn lamps as well. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you know when the next video is available. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.